My name is Nick. I'm Nick Tortaglione. Uh, some of you might know me better as uh, the killer cop, or even more infamously as the uh, the guy who shared a cell with Jeffrey Epstein before he uh, committed suicide. But what you don't know about me is I'm innocent. I've been in prison for eight years now, and I'm innocent. I have all the evidence to prove it. The jury never never saw a, any of it, not a shred of it. The case was investigated and handled by crooked FBI agents. These guys planted evidence, they tampered with evidence, they spliced videos together, and they intimidated witnesses. One of these witnesses was a Mexican man named Marcos Cruz, who was in the country illegally. Marcos Cruz was involved with the cartel. I had no idea what Marcos Cruz was into or involved with, but I hired him to work on my animal rescue farm. I rescued mostly dogs, horses, cats. Uh, Marcos Cruz actually confessed to these murders. He even led the FBI to where he buried the bodies. But they beat him into retracting his confession. They threatened to deport his wife and put his kids in foster care. After they did that, Marcos pointed the finger at me. I have the video evidence of this. Oh, Marcos withdrew his confession and then said whatever the FBI wanted him to say. Every day I wake up behind bars knowing the truth, but most of the world only knows the lies. It's funny, even Marcos's own brother, Miguel uh, Velasquez, told the FBI that I wasn't involved. He said it was all Marcos and that Marcos had fallen in with some bad people. They offered his brother a visa to point the finger at me. The brother refused, saying that wasn't the truth. But what did the FBI do? They deported him. The prosecutor in this case was a woman named Maureen Comey. Back in 2016, when this case was being investigated, and um, when I was arrested, she was fresh out of law school. And the head of the FBI at that time was her father, James Comey. Given the proof of corruption that I now have, that we've uncovered, it's hard to see this as anything other than a setup. It's the same way she set up um, just Lane Maxwell. Once Epstein was dead and out of the way, Maxwell was an easy win for her. Uh, the jury never saw any of this. Truth didn't fit their agenda. And to everybody listening out there, you know, why should you guys care about this? Why should you give a damn about me or about any of this? Well, because what happened to me could happen to you. It could happen to your family. It could happen to your husband, your son, your brother, your daughter. Anybody that stands in their way. Um, and look what they're doing to Donald Trump. The guy was the president of the United States. And going after him with a vengeance. They're using the FBI and the Justice Department as a weapon. This isn't, you know, just my story. This is a warning. You know, right now it's me. Tomorrow it could be you. It's definitely going to be somebody else.